Hi everyone, Nick Gilpin here, infectious disease doctor and system director of infection prevention for Beaumont. We're here today to talk about coronavirus, something you've probably been reading and hearing about in the news. So let's start out by everyone taking a nice deep breath in and let it out. Good. Now don't you feel more relaxed? Because you should feel more relaxed. Today we're going to talk about coronavirus, what it is and what it does and what you can do about it. For starters, let's talk about what the coronavirus is. First of all, you should know coronavirus is a respiratory virus, very similar to a lot of other respiratory viruses, and it's spread very similarly to how other respiratory viruses are spread. That is, through coughing, sneezing, and talking. The clinical symptoms of coronavirus are also like a lot of other respiratory viruses, such as fever, cough, and other upper respiratory symptoms like congestion, runny nose, etc. So where did this virus come from? This virus originated from a seafood market in Wuhan City, which is in central China. It's been compared to other similar coronaviruses, such as SARS and MERS, which are also respiratory viruses. So I'm often asked what advice I should give to travelers, whether traveling to China or traveling from China. Right now, the CDC is recommending that we avoid all non-essential travel to China. With regard to travelers that are returning from China, all travelers are being screened at ports of entry by Customs and Border Patrol for symptoms. Any patients that exhibit symptoms are being guided to the appropriate public health authorities for screening and treatment. Patients who are not exhibiting symptoms are being given information about the virus and what symptoms to look out for, and being told to monitor for symptoms for a period of about 14 days. Within that 14-day period, if anyone does develop symptoms, they're being asked to contact their doctors, their emergency departments, or their local or state public health authorities for further guidance. The best prevention of this virus is A, to avoid any potential sick contact, and B, to practice good, safe hand hygiene. I know there's a lot of anxiety about this virus right now, and certainly on a global scale, this is a public health emergency. Both the CDC and the WHO have said so, but the CDC says that the threat to the American public right now is low. Sure, there have been cases in the United States, but rest assured, hospitals across the country are preparing and are prepared, including Beaumont, to deal with this threat as it arises. While the coronavirus is certainly a significant global health threat and one that we're paying very close attention to, let's remember that we may have bigger things to worry about back home. I still think the number one public health threat in the United States as of today is influenza. Remember, influenza is blamed for tens of thousands of deaths every year, and we can't take our eye off the ball. We have to remember to make sure we get our flu shot every year, practice good respiratory etiquette, and practice good hand hygiene. Thanks for watching. For more health-related topics, Check out the Beaumont House Call podcast and remember to stay healthy.